Luigi. I'm a longtime friend of Jose de la Trinidad and his wife, Rosana de la Trinidad. At this time, I would like to share with you some memories of Jose de la Trinidad and to express some concerns about how this situation was handled by law enforcement officers. I have known Joseph and his wife for well over 10 years now. I have nothing but good thoughts and nice things to say about him. Whenever I ran into Joseph, whether it was at Costco, where he was employed, or at family functions I attended, he always had the biggest smile ever planted across his face. He loved to crack jokes and make you smile. He was so funny, and boy did he love his wife Rosie and their two beautiful girls, Jocelyn and Ariana. Just watching him cater to his, to his, to their two girls, constantly making sure that they were okay and feeling well at all times. I knew then that Jos de la Trinidad was a great guy with a huge heart. Jos dedicated his whole life to his family. He was such a great father and husband, the best father any wife and child could have ever dreamed of having. I have never in my life witnessed a father that was so involved in everything his two young daughters were involved in. I mean everything, from school activities, to family outings, to even going as far as far as becoming a human dress-up doll, just to entertain his little girls. Jos de la Trinidad was loved and respected by everyone he came in contact with and deserves justice. At this time, friends and family asked that Chief of Police, Lee Baca, take control of his department and, and hold these officers that committed this crime accountable yes. for their actions. I don't mean death duty, I mean jail time. Yes. 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 and should be ashamed of himself as well as the department for the way they handled what sheriff called a routine traffic stop. You tell me what's so routine about what's so routine about two sheriffs instructing an unarmed man to stop, turn around, put your hands on your head so sheriffs can then proceed to shoot him execution style, riddling his body with seven bullets? And to later find out that Jos de la Trinidad was never unarmed and never posed a threat to anyone. Sorry, but there was absolutely nothing routine about this traffic stop. It's also rather alarming to find out that this is not the first time the department has been under fire for wrongfully shooting innocent unarmed citizens, tampering with evidence, as well as intimidating and persuading witnesses to change their story. When? When is this going to stop? We desperately need and want to see these officers held accountable for this unjust crime and they, that they have committed. Are these officers even being reprimanded for their actions? And I don't mean death duty or paid leave. I mean actually being held accountable for the crimes they have committed. This has been difficult for everyone because we don't want to believe that all cops are bad. But if they are not ever held accountable for their unjust acts of crime, then what are we supposed to think? How do we explain to our kids that are here today that they are supposed to respect officers when they are the ones that are behaving like gang members, taking innocent lives and destroying families? How does Josie La Trinidad's wife tell her daughters that daddy, that daddy was shot by the police for no reason, for doing what he was supposed to do? Right then. Just because you guys, sheriff's deputies, decided not to go by the book that day. This has been very tragic. This has been very tragic. Life-changing event for Jos de la Trinidad and his family. We all stand here before you. And again, ask that Chief Lee Baca, take control of your department. Hold these officers accountable. Not death duty. We want jail time.